What's going on guys, it's Jeff for MadHattersReef.com and today we're going to be taking a look at ESV's salt mix. What's going on guys, it's Jeff and today we're going to be taking a look at ESV's Bionic Saltwater System. And for most of you that have seen my Bionic video that I put together on two part, not that long ago i would had some interest in checking out some more of their products so why not take a look at their salt water mix now when i opened up the box i did not realize how much there actually was to it with bionic salt water system you are actually mixing all the individual ingredients that make up synthetic salt water and the reason why esv did this is so they can create a more consistent salt mix for hobbyists how many times have you opened up a bucket and seen clumps in your salt mix it's happened to me a number of times and what's happening when your salt clumps together is you're getting the possibility of certain elements being clumped together and then creating inconsistencies in your salt water and that's why esv has created this system so when you open up your bucket you're going to have a bag of sodium chloride magnesium sulfate liquid component A and liquid component B. You also have the instructions and measuring tools to make your salt. Now, I was making two gallons for my nano reef and I decided to go by volume. So I was using the measuring cups that are included in the bucket. And depending on how many gallons you're trying to make, that will dictate how much of the individual elements that you're putting into the salt mix. And when you start off, you're gonna start off with RODI water. And that's something that isn't included in the kit that you have to have your own water system uh, to make their RODI water. And I can't really stress enough in my other video, it's asked all the time when I'm mixing salt water, what is RODI water or why I use it? And it's very important uh, to start with that. And the first thing that you're going to be adding is a sodium chloride and what you're going to do is you're going to add the specific amount depending on how much water you're trying to make and after you add it you're going to mix it until it's dissolved the next step you are going to be adding magnesium sulfate and it's very similar here it's a lot less than the sodium chloride but you are going to uh, put the recommended amount based off the table and then mix it till it's completely dissolved and for both the sodium chloride and the magnesium sulfate, it took about a minute for it to completely dissolve to the point where you couldn't even see it anymore. After you mix the sodium chloride and the magnesium sulfate, it's time to add component A. Once you have your component A measured out, you're going to be mixing it for a solid minute. And that is very important to this step and making sure that it is mixing properly. And after you have component A added to the RODI water, it's the next step then is adding component B. And same idea, you're going to measure it out depending on how much water you're making and then mix it for a minute, making sure that's completely mixed into the RODI water. And that really is all there is to making ESV's salt. Now, before you go into a water change, you're going to want to test the water and make sure it's at the proper salinity. You're also going to want to heat the water to the proper temperature range. Keeping those two things in mind at the final steps of doing a water change are very important. It's going to help you create a more consistent and safe reef environment. All 
All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button, and I'll see you guys next time right here with a brand new video.